welcome. In this session, we'll explore Tikhonov regularization, and we'll, we'll only go through a statement of it. We won't go through any proofs. Let's recall from the previous session that we have a design matrix which has m rows and n columns, and it's a full ranked matrix, that we have dependent data that are provided in a vector y, and that the user provides us with some non-negative value lambda, and we said that we could form a function g, and we could have g with a vector argument, and then lambda is a hyperparameter, and what we were saying was that g was the squared norm of the residual error plus lambda times the, no, the squared norm of the objective, or of the, um, of the argument vector. Now, let's, let's look at this. This is like CLS. It's like constrained leaf squares, but there are two main differences. One is that theta equals zero. That is, the, the hyperparameter theta doesn't appear in this formula. And the other is that we provide, so let's underline that. We provide lambda. We do not find or compute a lambda star. And that's a big difference. That's what makes g a function, uh, an objective, rather than being a Lagrange function. Is It's an objective because this hyperparameter, it folds in, the user provides that, and then we have to find a w star that satisfies this. So um, some people will call lambda the cost. And we can think of this as if lambda equals zero, this is an unconstrained optimization problem, and we can say there's zero cost associated with finding the solution. As lambda increases, there's a higher and higher cost of using the unconstrained result, and the norm, the squared norm of the result starts to be important. So that that is why lambda is sometimes called the cost. Now, in general, Tikhonov regularization, the user also provides two additional pieces of data. One is a regularization matrix, and this is a matrix that has L rows and N columns, and it's full rank, and we have L less than or equal to N. So it's possible that R is a, um, is a square matrix, it's possible that R is a one form, it's possible that R is anywhere in between, provided that it's full rank, that's important, and it's typical but not required that R is upper triangular. So we can think of this as a right matrix, R. And the user also provides a hyperparameter and we'll call it alpha. And this alpha has to also be non-negative. And so Tikhonov regularization the Tikhonov regularization function is, this is script T of, it has the a vector argument, and now it has alpha, and R is implicit in this, and that is defined as the squared norm of the residual error of the regression plus, and what we do is instead of having lambda times this, what we have is alpha times a regularization matrix times 
the vector argument and we'll square that. You can now see a relationship between this function g and the Tikhonov function is that g is a simple form of the Tikhonov function, or you think you can think of the Tikhonov function as being a generalization. Those are the same thing. You can say that for g, if you set lambda equal to alpha squared and the regularization matrix equal to the identity, then with those settings, the Tikhonov function is g. So g is a special form. So now the question is, if we have this general Tikhonov regularization function, how can we use it to solve some optimization problems?